Hello everyone, it's Mark and welcome back. In this video I want to talk to you about dementia and the Baker Act. So we had a case very recently where um, an elderly gentleman uh, had gone to the hospital. Um, his family indicated that he had um, dementia. He'd had it for quite a while and um, apparently after being interviewed by a triage nurse they decided to Baker Act him. And so the family called me, they were distraught. Uh, very upset because after he was uh, detained at the hospital, he was then transferred to a Baker Act facility. So here you have an elderly man who's got dementia, he's afraid, um, he's, he's scared, and he doesn't know where he is, he doesn't know why he's there, and the family is um, understandably very upset. And they said to me, how can somebody who has dementia be Baker Acted? And I said to them, it's very simple. It only takes two things to get you Baker Acted. The first is a finger. A finger can get you Baker Acted, coupled with somebody to point it. That's all it takes. So all it took was a doctor in the emergency room to Baker Act this poor old man who has dementia. And guess what? He was stuck in a facility. Now ultimately, we were able to get him out. He clearly didn't meet criteria. He wasn't threatening to harm himself. He wasn't threatening to harm anybody else. But as I have spoken about uh, in, in, in many of the other videos that you'll find on our website, the Baker Act, unfortunately, is prone to abuse. Not by every Baker Act facility, not by every hospital, but by some of them. And yes, it's possible that if your loved one ends up in an emergency room and they have dementia, they can get Baker Acted. Now, obviously, if the facility, if, you get, if they get transferred to a good facility or they're a good, at a good hospital and they realize that obviously that this is a case of dementia and not somebody who's you know, suicidal or threatening to hurt anybody and they let them go, then you probably don't need our help. But if they are detained at a Baker Act facility or a hospital and their hospital is not willing to let them go, then yes, we need to take immediate action and the sooner the better. And as I've said in other videos, the one who gets to the courthouse first typically, me typically means that they're going to be the winner because not only can we go to the courthouse, but the facility, which is an agent of the state, they can also go to the courthouse and they can also get a court order. So before that happens, I wanna get there and make sure that your loved one is released. So yes, if your loved one has dementia, they can definitely be Baker Acted. So with that said, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.